I've been texting every person I know in Israel, um, just seeing how they are, making sure they're safe. One of those loved ones in Israel is Rabbi Mona Alfie's own 20-year-old son. Um, a sense of nausea and fear. He arrived in Tel Aviv Thursday, the day before the surprise attacks. Luckily, he, he's staying with family that has a bomb shelter. Rabbi Alfie leads the B'nai Israel Temple, and she says the community has been celebrating Jewish high holidays. It's a, a day of celebration of studying the Torah. We take the whole year to read through the five books of Moses, and this is both the ending and the beginning of that cycle. Today is Simcha Torah, a joyous celebration now marred by the brutal attacks. Rabbi Alfie believes the Hamas timing of the attacks is calculated, taking place on the same day of violence that killed more than 2,600 Israelis in 1973. From what I'm hearing from my friends in Israel, they're saying that this feels worse than the Yom Kippur War, and it's actually the 50th anniversary of the Yom Kippur War um, yesterday. Um, this is this is worse. Rabbi Alfie calls this latest attack brutal, focusing on the Israeli people. It's Israel's version of 9/11. They were caught. They were caught unawares. These aren't military bases that are being attacked. These are all civilian um, centers. Rabbi Alfie says it's time for another round of Middle East peace talks to last once and for all before losing more innocent Israelis and Palestinians. It's been quiet, but there needs to be a real peace. This underscores why, um, why there needs to be real negotiations between all sides.